23-year-old Tashi Choden. She is queer and will represent Bhutan at the Miss Universe pageant this year. How did Miss Choden conquer the pageant scene in Bhutan? What was the reaction among ordinary Bhutanese? And with that, history was made. Tashi Koden was crowned Miss Bhutan for 2022. Her victory isn't hers alone. It's a victory for Bhutan's LGBTQ community. Tashi is openly gay. She hopes to use this platform to help young women find their voice. Winning this pageant is a legitimate platform where I can advocate on social issues and talk to young women and try to empower them and try to make them believe in themselves more because I had a hard time believing in myself and look where I am right now. Adversity isn't new for Tashi. As a child, she lost both her parents while living in India's Nagaland. At the age of 14, she returned to Bhutan. The very next year, Tashi took her first modeling assignment. Then came a wave of projects, fashion shows, movies, pageants, and now this, the biggest stage of them all, Miss Bhutan 2022. Tashi's victory comes at a special time for the LGBTQ community. This is Pride Month, a time to celebrate the queer community, to fight for their rights. Bhutan too has challenges to overcome, but different from ones in the West. In 2021, Bhutan decriminalized homosexuality, yet same-sex marriages are not recognized here. Buddhism is the biggest religion in Bhutan. More than 70% of the people practice it. Buddhism does not condemn homosexuality. One of the few religions not to. Some top Buddhist monks have also supported LGBTQ rights, but progress has been slow. The arrival of social media made the community more visible. Now there are special internet groups, rights organizations, parades. Bhutan's queer community is finding its voice in the digital age. Tashi Koden is among them. She first came out as bisexual on Facebook later realizing that she was a lesbian. Her victory in this contest is another milestone in Bhutan's LGBTQ campaign, a visible and vocal ambassador for the community. South Asia Bureau, we are World is One.